I maybe have something for you. Kiaedra already supported multi-tap shortcuts and context-sensitive shortcuts. And now we support visual shortcuts, quad menu shortcuts, and if you purchase Octopus, Pi menu shortcut. Open Kiaedra from the main menu, show shortcut manager. I will start by creating a new profile in the profile manager here and just press the plus button and I will call it quad menu. I drag and drop it to the third slot here. Hop. And now I will create a new shortcut. So create shortcut. I pick Kiaedra create object category, create grid size box as single tap, create grid size plane as double tap, create grid size cylinder as triple tap and create grid size sphere as quadrata. I call it multi-tap. I can close. If I press my key on sim single tap, I have a box. On double tap, I have a plane. On triple tap, I have a cylinder. And on quadrata, I have a sphere. And now let's say you prefer quad menu or pi menu, for example. We will reopen shortcut manager and I will show you how to create a quad menu shortcut. I will just create a new shortcut, right click, create shortcut. I will do a single tab for now. Here in the category, I can go to quad menu set. You can see already existing quad menu sets made by Autodesk. So for example, here I want to assign on my Kira shortcut the lock quad menu set. So I will call it quad lock tap. I save and I come back to my profile. So if I press two now, I will have my lock menu. And voila, it's there. Now let's say I want to create my own quad menu. So you come here in the customized user interface and you can create a new one from here. Let's say I'll call it my, my demo quad menu. We just created a new quad menu. We have now to populate it. Key hydra create object and I will drag and drop box, plane, cylinder, and sphere. And I come back to Kiaira, shortcut manager. I will create a new shortcut. Let's say it's a single tap. And here in my categories, I come back to quad menu set. And in the list, we will have my demo quad menu. So it's here, I drag and drop it, I save. So now if I press the free button, I have my list. I can create my box, I can create my plane, I can create my cylinder, and I can create my sphere. It's still active with wheel control. So if you hold control, so it's Kiedra wheel control, you can see that I can control the segments, I can control the hemisphere with shift and mouse scroll. So it's really handy. So I will delete it. Now I will create another type of quad menu. So here I come back into the customized user interface and I create a new one. So new, I will call it my quad menu region. Tick. And this time I will be able to create inside this quad menu four different menu. And here I will come back to uh, Kiera, create object. And I will redrag and drop box and plane. In the second menu, I will add cylinder and sphere. And here in the third menu, I want to nest another quad menu. I will add lock. And in the fourth one, viewport. So as we can see, we can nest different quad menu. Create shortcut, single tap. And here I will now inside my list, quad menu. And this time, if I press four on my keyboard, we can see that I can have different quad menu if I move my mouse. This is basic 3 ds Max quad menu, but well, now we can execute them from Kiaira and we can nest menu. Here I just executed my shortcut and then I picked the lock and I executed one quad menu inside one quad menu. So I can still create my box here. In the other menu, I have my cylinder. I created the cylinder. And now let's see what good as well. We can use the power of multi-tap shortcut with quad menu. I will create a shortcut, call it multi-tap. And on single tap, I will add lock. On double tap, I will add mm, viewport. On triple tap, I will add quad menu list. And on quadratap, I will add 
quad menu region menu region here and if i press five now on my keyboard on single tap i have the lock menu on double tap i have the viewport quad menu on triple tap i have my primitive list menu and on quadra tap i have my nested quad menu with different region it's super easy to create shortcuts with quad menu inside Kihydra. And we can use the power of context sensitive shortcuts and multi-tab shortcuts. And I have something else in my bag. So if you purchased uh, Octopus, the 3 Max plugin called Octopus, you can use Pi menu inside a Kihydra shortcut. So for example, here I will create a shortcut and I will add a multi-tab. I will call it Pi menu. And here you come to category and you go to Octopus. Octopus here, and you can add any Pi menu that you created or one made by our friend from Rapid MXS. So here I will add the create a single tap. I will add view as double tap. I will add, yeah, let's say the help as third tap and as fourth tap, I will add axis. And I, if I press the sixth key, I can call Pi menu. I press the sixth key and I have the first Pi menu. If I press double tap, I have the view pie menu. If I press the triple tap, I should have the help. And yeah, it's just opened here. So you can purchase uh, Octopus from here, rapidmxs.com. And on fourth tap, do have the axis uh, pie menu. So yeah, with the power of multi-tap, you can choose if you want to execute immediately an action or a quad menu or even a pie menu. I forgot to tell you that if you created a multi-tap shortcut inside Kyra. So I come back to my first one and I do edit shortcut. And if you want to execute it in a more visual way, like this, you can start to learn your shortcut. You can press the learning mode here. And instead of executing the action, it will open a visual menu. You can see that on, on single tap, I set grid size box on double type grid size plane, etc. But as I'm learning it, uh, I see it from here and I can execute them from here. So you do have a kind of pie menu that will help you to learn your shortcut. And once you, you've learned it, you can just deactivate it and start to execute it immediately. So single tap is the box, double tap, it's the plane. 